Hey there, it is me, Lisa the Love Coach, again with a hot topic, a hot question. I love it. I love these questions. Okay, so, and this one is a story. It's not just a question, it's a story. It's juicy. So what happens is this. I put out content, people see my content, and then they want to hit me up with a DM to ask a question, which then comes into subsequent content. See how it works? So if watching this video, you have a question, drop it in the thing below, drop it in the comments below. What your question is, what inspires this thinking of yours, put it in the comments below, and then it can launch another video. So here's what that what happened with this person. Uh, I'm gonna say this was like a year ago, maybe more. This woman writes me and she says, Lisa, there's this guy that I like. And we went out a few times. But he is separated. He is not divorced yet. So she said, I cut it off. I said, you know what? I think you're a really great person, she said. She was very gracious, very kind. They had gone out maybe, I think, two or three times. And she saw, wow, this is a guy that I can really get involved with. However... Because she had standards and values and she believed in herself, she said, I am going to put this on a shelf. I am going to live my life. If I meet somebody, great. I'll always be cool with this guy. See what he's up to. See how he goes through his separation and divorce and the aftermath of it. And if our paths cross again, fantastic. Okay. This is so great. So fast forward a year and a half, because she held her ground, she said, no, I'm not dating someone who separated. I do not do that. She went off, she dated, she did her thing. She focused on her life, but she always maintained a friendship with this man. They'd check in online. He'd comment on her post. She'd comment on his. They got to learn more about each other with chatting through DMs. And he would tell her about like what's going on with his divorce and all the drama. And she would always be feminine and gracious. And she'd always give him hope. And she would say things like, I have full belief that all of this will sort out for you. And I wish you well. She'd always say that, always positive, but short. She didn't get into the thick of his whole drama. She didn't climb into his little DM canoe of back and forth therapy bullshit. No, she was pleasant and short and sweet. And she had her firm boundary. He'd never asked her out again. He just was very friendly with her, checking in with her. And well, and she was welcoming of it, right? So, such a juicy part of the story. She just now reaches out to me again and she says, Lisa, I want to work with you. Here's what happened. The guy got divorced and he wants to hang out with me and I want to hang out with him, but he just got divorced. So his divorce, the whole process took about a year. And so he's just out of it probably a few months ago, nothing. And she's trepidatious because she's like, you know, we've been in touch with each other off and on throughout his whole process and I played it perfectly. However, now he's coming at me and I kind of like him and I don't know what to do and I want to make sure I handle myself right. So she said, will you help me? I said, of course, this sounds amazing. And it's a perfect example of how just because somebody isn't for you or available fully for you at the time doesn't mean that things can operate in a certain way where you will be ready for each other at a different time. So this is why it is so important to have clear boundaries, to be clear about where you stand with your values about dating people who are going through divorces and separations and things, right? It's okay for you to say very politely, very graciously, 
I think you're a really cool person. We went out for coffee. We went for grabbing lunch. I think you're really cool. And I probably would date you, but you got that pesky thing going on called divorcing. So once your divorce is final, if I'm available and interested still, we can pick this right up. Very pleasant, very nice. So now I am working with this woman to help her navigate these dates with this guy who she's been on and off with talking to online. Nothing ever happened, but she's very excited. And sometimes when we're very optimistic and excited about people, we lose our minds. We drop our boundaries. We compromise our values. So she wants accountability. So that is what we are working on, she and I. But I wanted to bring this message to you so that A, you can learn how to handle these people who are going through separation, going through divorce, and they're just dating for entertainment as a distraction. Meanwhile, you're probably out there like, well, that's not right because I'm looking for the one. Like I'm dating to find the one. And there are people out there who are dating for different purposes. It is important and incumbent upon you to get clear on what their purpose is. Why are they dating? Are they married? Are they separated? What's going on in your life? These are all valid questions that you can ask. And for more questions and to learn how to get a solid dating strategy that will help you attract the person that you want without losing the person that you are, you can connect with me Again, the link is in the bio to get your free love life assessment. That is this fun tool that you can have for free that allows you to ask me specific questions about things that are happening specifically in your life and get answers directly from me, not some bot, not some robot machine ridiculous from me. So I look forward to connecting with you. I'm happy that you found my channel. Feel free to subscribe to it and also hit that bell notification so that when this party goes down, you're invited. Thanks so much. Bye.